Hang on, lads. My hair looks too bad today. I might let you see it. Um, I got a, a new, new case is kind of for my laptop, and I'm very happy about it. Um, they're really, really cool, and I, I thought I would share it. I don't know why you'd care, but I hope you like. It. I mean, they look cool. I'm happy with it. It's something that makes me happy, and this is what the channel is about. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the videos. And um, yeah, I hope you had an amazing weekend. Um, I sure did. I saw my nan. That's a very, very good thing. We had a nice barbecue. Very happy about that. I, 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 it's like, as you can probably tell, actually, you can't really because you can't see outside. But if you can see outside, it still looks really bright. Hang on. If you can look outside, it's not very, um, how do you put this? Daytime like. It is kind of evening ish. The sun's starting to come down soon now, so it won't be too soon until it's like dark at three o'clock and you can't see but no it is like six o'clock ish here on this day of the vlog and um yeah i'm talking about something very very cool and it's about what happened at the weekend today i'm talking about wildlife photography hell yeah if you didn't know this and actually i don't know if you didn't know this it's kind of weird looking into me unless you're a family member then that's perfectly normal but my my uncle is a photographer he does a lot of wildlife photography he's really really good at it he's amazing at it i, I love his work it's really really cool to see or uh, cool pictures he gets, especially when he goes on trips and stuff. But his camera is wham, it's such a cool camera, I, I actually love it. But uh, at the weekend on Saturday, um, sun not Saturday, Sunday, on Sunday, so yesterday, uh, I went on a little photo walk with um, my uncle and my auntie. Uh, we had an absolutely amazing time, uh, obviously I love meeting up with family as always. Um, but we had a great time, we went on a little photo walk. I took my, my camera here, I took my 70 to 300 uh, lens where he brought his 150 to 500 millimeter sigma lens. What kind of, you know, it's a very nice lens. I felt very, um, not underdressed, under, under kitted for the photo walk. <laughs> but I tried my best, I tried my hardest. Um, I haven't edited photos yet, but you will see them at this video, hopefully. You should see it, I'm gonna edit them today. So you will see them at this video. This is really kind of my first time doing like proper, wow, well, I'm going really high. This is basically one of my first times doing like actual wildlife photography. Um, actually, that's a lie. No, I've done wildlife photography like quite a bit. Like I'd go on photo walks and get photos and stuff, but I've never done it to the point where I'm like specifically looking for something. And the thing we were looking for was a green uh, woodpecker. Yeah, green woodpeckers are pretty cool. If you've seen one, you've seen one and you know that they're pretty cool. I've seen a couple, I've seen some other woodpeckers, but green woodpeckers especially are super, super cool, but they're really hard to find because they're green. And guess what else is green? Trees. Trees are green. My maths teacher. Get it, Teresa. Trees are green. Trees are green, meaning that they're very hard to see. Camouflage. But not the chameleon kind. No, the bird kind. So they're up in the air and they're quite hard to see, but you can hear them. You can hear them. It's really annoying. It's like they're taunting you. But yeah, um, we had a fun time. It was a fun walk. We went to some, a, a cool place um, that I've been to quite a lot. But I love it there. They have a brilliant wildlife. It's a wildlife trust one. So it, it's like safe for, for the birds. A, a lot of bees. I saw a lot of bees. Yeah, that was the thing we were looking for. We were kind of looking for quite a long time. Saw these buzzards in the air though. So these buzzards soaring around. Kind of swooping down and they're dark. We saw one dive. That was scary. We saw loads of bugs, loads of stuff. It was very hot as well. We also saw some cows and we got scarily close to them. But overall, I absolutely loved it. Uh, but no, wildlife photography. Why is it cool? Why is it special? Why is it still going? Been to a lot of zoos in my time, especially this year. I've been to quite a few. Um, if you know me, you know I love animals. I absolutely adore animals. I know quite a lot about animals. I believe a lot in like uh, companies like WWF and um, I tried to be as sustainable as I can. Um, actually, talking about, I have, uh, you don't really want to see my feet, but I have um, socks on for the Marine Society. They're turtle socks. I like them a lot. Shut up, Max. Just get on with the video. But yeah, you get the point. So where I go to zoos a lot, it means I take a lot of pictures of cool animals. I don't know what it was, but yesterday it was felt different. So there's a difference. Now with wildlife photography, the thing that I found with it that I've never found before is that when you can get a photo of an animal, it's like something special. It's like you, you almost have to track it down. It's like a, pro, a process. And once you can get that photo, it's really fulfilling in a way. A way that I've never really felt before about photography is this feeling of going on this journey. And then you get, and once you get the shot, it's like, oh my God, that's incredible. Like, the, like the, this, is, this is real life. And you don't really get that at a zoo because it's almost like the conditions are built for you to do that at a zoo. And it just still doesn't take it away from, that's good photography. But I think it's the same with street photography as well, where that's still going. It's because you have to be at the right place at the right time. There's something special about them syncing together and like getting, getting the photo and waiting there. And it's something very cool about it that, um, 
I've never really felt before. I think we often forget how wonderful wildlife is actually in the UK. We have some brilliant species over here, especially with our birds. Ducks, we have quite a lot of ducks. Squirrels, squirrels are pretty cool, and our bugs as well. Not big scary ones, but we have some cool little cute ones, like bees. We have a lot of bees. The place I went yesterday, it turns out they had this like walled off garden place. Never seen it in my life. I've lived here for 18 years. Never knew it existed, but we went there and they had a beehive. It was really cool and we saw these massive wasps. That's really scary actually talking, that was that was a scary bug. But also I witnessed for the first time an apple naturally falling off a tree. I don't know why that kind of took me back a bit, but it did. I don't know, I was feeling very philosophical yesterday. Um, I thought I'd share it with the group, you know, we'll kind of circle time. But yeah, I would definitely suggest um, if you're feeling sad and that's very common at this time, because it's a pandemic and a lot of things are happening. Go for a walk, you know, go go for a little walk, whether it's with a family member or it's by yourself. Take a camera, take your phone, see if you can capture a picture of something special. You know, maybe a bird perching near you, or a bug, caterpillar, or it's a cool tree. I like this tree, this is my favorite tree in the world. This is my favorite tree in the world. I don't know, I used to think it got struck by lightning. And I, that's very strange, I just shared with you my favorite tree. That's a very personal thing. And once you start looking at it through like a lens and start looking at it directly, start to realize how beautiful natural environments are and how much we need to save them. Look, look around the world, look around people, like it's not gonna, like we, didn't, we don't get a second chance in this place, you know. We need to get on top of that crap and stop being stupid and help the, the you know, the smaller, smaller people out. We need to help out the bugs, we need to help out the birds, help out everything, you know. Sustainable, sustainable future is what we're aiming for. Definitely take a trip down to your local trust. It will probably do a lot of help. And that about does it for me today. Thank you for joining me. And um, yeah, here are my photos. I don't know how they turned out because I haven't edited them yet, but hopefully you enjoyed them. I don't, I don't know, it could have been like three or it could have been like 50. I don't know, that's took quite a lot. So that about does it for me today. Thank you for joining me as always. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button. That would absolutely mean the world to me. And watch some more of my videos. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, and some of them are kind of in the middle. I haven't really decided yet. So yeah, that's it. See you lads, and goodbye.